What do you think about NASA's new moon landing plans? Yeah, well, they got three. They awarded three winners. Um, Blue Balls Origin and uh, SpaceX, who got the least amount of money, and another uh, consortium. Uh, and uh, the differences, like the, the stark differences in the three new moon landing um, things. They're, you know, they're really you know, splashing the money around, hedging their bets on all these different um plans i'm not sure what their final like you know if they're going to pick one or they're going with multiple ones for serving different purposes but yeah it's like i i would love to go to mars but mars is hard really hard orders of magnitude harder not order of magnitude probably orders of magnitude harder to go to Mars, well, no, it's not. If you just want to get to Mars, you know, Robert Zubrin's Mars Direct uh, plan could work. If you just want to put people on, you know, some hardware on people in Mars, just go dump them there and do it, right? But all this colonization bullshit, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen in our lifetime. It's not going to happen in next people's lifetimes. It's just, it's just utter bullshit um, to think that we're going to have some huge self-sustaining colony on Mars. You know, it'll eventually happen, but like it, it's hundreds of years away. Like, but before we get anything remotely resembling uh, the um, what we saw in um, uh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger um, one, uh, the, what's the what, what's the Mars one? Come on, someone's going to tell me. Shit, I got a mental block. Can't believe I've forgotten it. No, it's no. We need to go back to the moon. I want a base on the moon. I want like just in the book Artemis. I want. You know, I'm still waiting for the Artemis movie, but I don't know. That may not happen. Um, and uh, the, the yeah, I, I want that. Like, the moon can work. There's nothing that can pay for the Mars trip. The Mars trip is, you've got to do it at a loss. There's nothing that can pay for it. Absolutely nothing. Um, so, but the moon, yes, tourism. The number of people who would cashed up, who would pay for either a flight around the moon or to go spend like a, a week on the moon. Like you would have people spending their all their retirement money, you know, all these people in their 60s or whatever, just go into the moon. And, and space tourism could easily pay for that. Easily. I'm sure of it. And then we could have, you know, observatories on the dark side and radio telescopes and we should be doing all that shit. And yes, we should be going to Mars too, but a total recall. Thank you. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Blue balls origin. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's a total number, ain't it? We have to go back to the moon. It's ridiculous. You know, yeah, the moon mining and all that sort of stuff. But tourism is the thing that's going to pay for it. Because my, nobody wants to spend like nine months, six to nine months in a steel tube headed to Mars to be stuck there with nothing to see, right? Nothing to do practically. And then nine months coming back and a good chance of dying, right? It, it, it's just ridiculous to think that, you know, either there's going to be tourism to Mars or there's going to be colony on Mars. It's just, oh, no, 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 no. The practical aspects. But the moon, it's days away. You know, you don't have to wait like a launch window every couple of years or whatever. You can just go. Right? Oh, there's launch windows for the moon, but you know, <laughs> they're much more frequent. And you can just go there. A couple of, what is it, three days to get there? Or in a couple of days to get there? And you spend a week there, a couple of days to get back? It's like a, it's a weekend trip. You spend more time, you would spend more time trying to get to the top of Mount Everest than you would go into the moon. You know how much prep work you got to do to get to the top of Mount Everest? Like, it, it's just, like, you have to spend months acclimatizing and, and like, and a good chance of dying. You'd probably have more chance of dying on Mount Everest than you do go into the moon once it's all sort of sorted out a bit. I don't know. A couple of early people might um, come a gutsa, but, you know, um, it's bound to happen. Like, there's bound to be a, a death in space eventually. It's just, you know, it's just sheer statistics, unfortunately. So, but, yeah, the moon is the obvious and only choice for, you know, just getting back out there and sort of, you know, colonizing space, I guess. Absolute no-brainer. So yeah, as much of a Mars fanboy that I am, and I think we should go there, but yeah, all this rubbish about <laughs> colonies and things. Jeez, no. Nope, nope, nope. The moon's easy. And trust me, once the first person to go, once the first tourist goes to, uh, well, look, I've got it in the background, right? I've got it in the background. There it is. Once the first tourist 
goes to there there it is i ironically have it as this is my background wall map of uh, wallpaper right and once persons someone's standing on the moon don't have the correct perspective here but when they send back the first selfie photo and post it on instagram or facebooks or wherever it is right of them holding up their thumb and covering up the earth or like holding up the earth like atlas you know you'd have to get the right uh lens and everything you'd have to get the right angle but and the earth's actually quite tiny from the moon but anyway like or holding the earth in your hand like this it'll be the leaning tower of pisa um shot Right, which everyone, well, the only reason you go to Pisa, I've been to Pisa, is to get the photo of the Leaning Tower of Pisa, right? They're, they're a nice little town, but there's nothing else there, right? They just want a photo of the Leaning Tower, but this will be the equivalent. And people will pay millions of dollars for the privilege of just getting a selfie like that. It'll be the ultimate goal, right? People already pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for people to take them up Everest and drag them up Everest so they can get the photo on the summit. You know, it's the ultimate life achievement. This will be the ultimate life achievement. To look back at Earth. You don't get any of this on Mars. You bugger off to Mars, you spend six months with nothing. Nothing to see, nothing to do to get there. Six to nine months, and then you're sitting there and you just got dust storms, you can't see anything. On the moon, couple of days to get there. Couple of days. Couple of days to get there. And and you can you know, and, and you can see Earth and, and the magnificence and you can hold your thumb up and you can cover it and you can like bounce around and you can like, oh man, there's no contest. What idiot would want to go to Mars? Like in, in terms of like a tourist or whatever, it's just, it's no contest. Moon it is. Trust me. Rant over. <laughs> I was going to do a separate video on that. I might cop, I might split this out um, as a separate video. I just uploaded on the EV blog too. That's my moon Mars rant. And there's so much more. Uh, there's so much more. <laughs> what, what do you do on the moon? It's, and, you know, you can, like, visit. Read the book. Read the book Artemis. It's, like, really, it's a... It, it had the promise of being a good story, but it, it kind of went to shit, the story. But the world building of, um, of Artemis is fantastic, of how to, you know, how space, like tourism and mining will work on Mars. It's absolutely fantastic. So there's, you know, they have the, you know, the, um, the, um, the Aldrin bubble and, you know, they have all these bubbles, these interconnecting uh, bubbles that you, and everything's like, it's fantastic. It's going to happen. Yes, the Van Allen radiation belt is a small problem. Someone needs to send this guy to the moon. <laughs> Might have gone if I was single, but now I'm like I got a family. You know, good. There's good odds of dying. You know, love to. <clears throat> yeah, moon seems way cooler. The moon is way cooler than Mars. Like, you know, oh sure. Like if the if Mars was the same distance, yeah, great. Okay, let's go there. It's you know, uh, there's there's tons to see and do scientifically, um, but nothing can beat looking at the Earth. Like just standing on the surface and look like. Just nothing beats it. Nothing can beat it. <laughs> Before thinking going to moon, Mars, we have to be able to leave our homes. Oh, yeah. What a shit show. Oh, yeah. Elon will come around. Elon will come around and realize that, yeah, he can make a metric, metric crap ton of money. And for his, you know, uh, for his company, and his ultimate goal. I know his ultimate goal is Mars, but he realize, he'll realize that he can make a crap ton of money from tourism. Of course he will. <laughs> of course. Yeah, Moon's much more rewarding than Mars, hands down, I agree. It's not just a stepping stone, it's, Moon is permanent. We'll, we'll have people permanently on the Moon, long before we have people permanently on Mars. What a miserable existence it'd be on Mars, really. I, yeah, hats off to the first people who go there. Um, you know, I can, you know, I can understand you want to be immortal, you know, your name is, you know, the first people to go there, and stuff like that, and they will be, uh, which is fantastic, but geez, you know. Nah. <laughs> when they go crazy for the nine months in the tube and then they start, they realize they're stuck there and then it's nine months trip back. It's like, oh boy. Yep. Walking on the moon from the police when you are there. Yeah, you could do so, like, unbelievable. And of course, just the tourist attractions of the original Apollo landings. Like, you know, like, oh man, people will pay millions of dollars to go see this. There are thousands of people with millions of dollars, tens of thousands of people who will happily spend a million bucks for a trip to the moon to like 
go take a selfie in front of the Apollo. Probably won't get the Apollo 11 lander. They'll probably do like, I don't know, last one. Like It depends where they want to do it. But, you know, Apollo 17 or whatever. Um, yeah, and all the, you know, the old rovers sit in there, you know, take a selfie sitting in there, you know, if they let you, because there's the uh, Lunar Preservation, I can't remember the exact name, the Lunar Preservation Program or something, where, you know, look, they're national trusts or whatever, you're not actually allowed to touch the objects up, up there. Um, when, when if you design rovers and stuff like that, there's like, you're not allowed to come within, I think, like 80 meters or something like that of the original landing sites. So it's not like people are going to be able to, like, <laughs> sit in the sit in the old lunar rover and hey, you know thumbs up fonzie style like in the uh, martian hey. <clears throat> love the fonz so space elevator no space elevators aren't gonna happen no not gonna happen nope 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 no nope. i'm i'm not a mechanical engineer i'm not the best to debunk a uh space elevator i'm not the best to do it i just my my, my spidey sense says no nah, it's not gonna happen You'll get killed by the practicalities. Works in principle, works in theory. It's not going to work in practice, even with your nanotubes and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> I guess you'll get fined when you get back. A lot of a lot of millionaires will go screw that. <laughs> I'll take, I'll cop the million dollar fine for that selfie in the rover. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yeah, when we get good at going to the moon, we'll probably get better at going to other places. I mean, yeah, shit, for 50 years, 50 years, we haven't, well, almost 50 years, be 50 years in 19, uh, in 2022. We, we haven't gone beyond, like, lower, low um, Earth atmosphere. Like, you know, yeah, <laughs> we need to go back to the moon. The Van Allen belt feels a bit dicey for six months. You don't, you only briefly go through the Van Allen belt. There's various ways out to minimize the van allen belts but once you're beyond that um you're in um yeah it's not the van allen belt influence anymore so um but you've got other cosmic rays so you know you've got to be alerted when the you know when there's a um cosmic uh, storm and um you've got to go hide out inside your water tanks or something you know <laughs> Speaking of the moon and everything else, my moon, I am really proud of my moon landing conspiracy busting video. That's over on EEV Discover. A lot of people don't know that I've done original research that proves that we landed on the moon. It's over on my EEV Discover channel. I've done my own original research. Uh, like, I'm, as far as I know, I'm the first one to ever come up with that actual proof. Um, and I'm quite, I'm very, very proud of that video. Worked out really well.